welcome dear students to this program dear students today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book chapter 8 about quadrilaterals part 1 dear students you must come across various objects in your day to day life out of which we can get most number of objects which has a quadrilateral shape mostly rectangular shape today we are going to discuss about that quadrilaterals before going to read about this quadrilateral let's see what we have learnt about triangles so far we learnt angle sum property of a triangle what is that that is the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree and other things other informations about uh, congruency of triangles as we studied earlier that side angle side congruency that is ss congruency angle side angle congruency that is asa congruency aas means angle angle side congruency side 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 means sss congruency and right angle hypotenuse and side congruency that is rhs congruency so this five types of congruency we have discussed earlier now we are going to learn about quadrilaterals what type of figure do we get by joining the given points in pairs you see here we have four points a b c and d on the plane if we join them we get a line segment okay so these four points are called collinear points if three points are collinear points and one point is not on the same line then what type of figure will get by joining in pair will get a triangle so here j g i h these uh, points if we join we get the triangle but if the uh, the uh, points are not in a uh, straight line that means no three points on a straight line then we get the points like this in this case if we join it pairwise then we we'll get a quadrilateral why such figure is named as quadrilateral because quadrilateral is derived from latin word quadri which means four variants and lattus means sides means any uh, figure with four sides so quadrilateral is a plane figure with four sides that is a figure formed by joining four points in an order is called a quadrilateral a quadrilateral has four sides four angles and four vertices let's identify these angles and vertices in this figure if we name the vertices like a b c and d then we can say in quadrilateral a b c d a b b c c d and d a are the four sides and what do we get more here here a b c and d these four points are called the four vertices of the quadrilateral now how many angles are formed at the vertices here you see we have four angles formed and they are angle a angle b angle c and angle d these are the four angles formed at the vertices angle a is formed by the sides a d 
and a b the angle b is for the sides a b and b c the angle c is formed by sides b c and c d and the angle d is formed by the sides d a and d c then a c and b d we can join these two a c and b d they are not consecutive points they are opposite points if we join these two then we have uh, we call it a diagonal so how many diagonals here we have diagonals ac and bd now we can uh, have various types of quadrilateral let's see what types of uh, figures we can have in quadrilateral here is a figure this is called scale in quadrilateral and this type of figure is as we know is kite this type of figure is trapezium here it is parallelogram and now this is a rectangle and this is rhombus and this is square so these are the various quadrilaterals we come across in geometry now before going to discuss about these types of uh, the definitions of types of these uh, rectangles let's discuss about the angle sum property of quadrilateral now in this figure you see abcd is a quadrilateral if we join ac that is if we draw uh, a diagonal then this diagonal divides this quadrilateral into two triangles these two triangles are triangle abc and triangle adc with common side ac now let's see how to find the angles as we uh, discussed earlier in case of angle sum property of triangle here also we can find the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral if in this figure a b c d a c is the diagonal we have two triangles a b c and a d c so in triangle a b c we can say that angle b a c plus angle a c b plus angle a b c is equal to 180 degree why as the angle sum property of triangle says so now in triangle adc d ac plus angle adc plus angle acd in this triangle adc triangle sum of these three angles is 180 degree this is also by the same angle sum property angle sum property of a triangle now if you add these two equations this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 if you add these two what do we get angle bsc plus angle acb plus angle uh, abc plus angle dac plus angle adc plus angle acd is equal to in right side we have 280s so 180 plus 180 gives 360 degree now if we combine c d a c 
and BAC. We have BAC and DAC. Let's write together BAC angle plus angle DAC plus angle ABC plus CBCA, BCA and BCA and ACB are same. So I can write ACB plus ACD. ACB plus ACD and last one is ADC angle ADC this gives 360 degree now you see BAC and DAC these are the adjacent angle BAC and DAC these two are adjacent angles so sum of these two angles is same as angle DAB. So, we can write in place of BAC plus DAC, we can write angle BAD or DAB plus angle ABC. And now, in place of ACB and ACD, ACB and ACD are again to adjacent angles and sum of their angle is same as DCB. So, in place of sum of ACB and ACD, we can write angle DCB plus and last one is ADC. So, this gives 360 degree. Now, what are they? Now, we can see that these four angles are nothing but the angles of the quadrilateral. So, we can write that angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree. From this, what do we get? What information we can say about a quadrilateral? We can say that the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. This is one type of quadrilateral. Here, we have AB and DC to be parallel. So, if one pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral ABCD, then AB uh, such that AB and CD are parallel, then it is called a trapezium. So, such type of figure are mostly known as trapezium. Now, you see in this figure, we have PQ and SR to be parallel and PS and QR to be parallel. So, if both pairs of opposite sides of quadrilaterals are parallel, such quadrilaterals are called parallelograms. So, in this figure, as PQ and SR are parallels and PS and QR are parallel, so this is a parallelogram. Now, you know in this parallelogram, we can have some add added properties. Let us discuss about that. Now, in this case, here also we have a parallelogram, but this speci speciality is like this. In this parallelogram MNRS, one of its angle, say M, is a right angle. So, if one of the angle of a parallelogram is 90 degree, then what is it? This is, this has some special name. What is that? It is called a rectangle. So, again, we can say that if a, a, uh, if an angle of a parallelogram is 90 degree, then it is called a rectangle. Now, we can see this type of figure, this is called rhombus. Why this is called rhombus? The parallelogram DFG has all sides equal. And we know that this, if the sides are equal, then it is called a rhombus. Now, here a figure in which all the sides are equal. 
means we can say this is a rhombus but it is something different uh, from that what is the difference here the parallelogram abc abcd of which angle a is equal to 90 degree and all sides equal it is called a square so these are all about the different types of quadrilaterals now let's discuss some problems based on these definitions and the angle sum property of quadrilateral see the first question is the angle angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 13 find all the angles of the quadrilateral the angles of quadrilateral are in the ratio ratio 3 is to 5 is to 9 is to 13 then what is the total angle so we can we know that the sum of the angles is 360 degree in quadrilateral the sum of the angles is 360 degree so the angle in this where 3 is the ratio we can say uh, if we name it uh, quadrilateral ABCD then we can say angle A is equal to 3 by sum of these means 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13 into 360 degree that gives 3 by 30 into 360 degree from this we can cancel this and 3 into 12 that gives 36 degree now see angle B is equal to now come to 5 so 5 by this sum is now 30 so 5 by 30 into 360 degree that gives 5 into 30 360 cancel that is 12 so this gives 60 degree now angle C is equal to next is 9 so 9 by 30 into 360 degree that gives again 9 into 12 that is 108 degree and last one is angle D that is for 13 so 13 divided by 30 into 360 degree gives 13 into 12 30 and 360 cancelled it is 12 so 12 into 36 that gives 156 now if we take this sum we can see that this sum is 360 degree so our sol solution is correct we can verify it so in this way we can find the angles of uh, a quadrilateral using angle sum property now let's see another problem here the question is the angle of a quadrilateral are the angles of a quadrilateral are equal show that it is a, a rectangle this is a quadrilateral a b c d it is given 
that in collateral ABCD the angles are equal means angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is equal to angle D. So, to show that ABCD is a rectangle. Now, let us see as A, B, C, D are equal. So, let angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C equal to angle D is equal to x degree. And we know that by angle sum property of a collateral angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is equal to 360 degree by angle sum property of quadrilateral. Now, you see as each has value x, so we can write x plus x plus x plus x that is 4x degree is equal to 360 degree that gives x is equal to 360 by 4 360 degree by 4 that is 90 degree. As each angle is 90 degree you see this angle is 90 degree and this angle is also 90 degree. This angle is also 90 degree. This angle is also 90 degree. So, this shows that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram as the uh, the these two a b and c d are two lines with the transversal a d and the angles interior angles on one side of the transversal are supplementary so this a b is parallel to c d similarly a d is parallel to b c as opposite sides are parallel so this is a parallelogram we can prove this in this way. A, B and uh, they say transversal A, D transversal A, D intersects A, B and C, D, this implies angle B, A, D uh, and angle A, D, C are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Now, you see angle BAD plus angle ADC is equal to 90 degree plus 90 degree that is 180 degree. This shows that A B is parallel to C D. Again, similarly, we can prove A D 
is parallel to BC. Now, AB is parallel to CD, AD is parallel to BC. This implies this implies A B C D is a parallelogram. Now, A B C D is a parallelogram and each angle is 90 degree. So, this is we can say as each angle of parallelogram ABCD is 90 degree. So, ABCD is a rectangle. So, by using angle sum property and the definition of parallelogram, we can prove that the angles of collateral are equal gives rise to uh, the collateral is a rectangle. Now, come to another question. The question is like this. In quadrilateral ABCD, angle A is equal to 47 degree and angle D is 133 degree. Show that it is a trapezium. Now, you see in this figure, this angle is 133 degree and this angle is 47 degree. Name it A, B, C, D. So, we can write in figure angle A is equal to 133 degree and angle D is equal to 47 degree. Here it is. So, the naming is like this. According to our question, this is D, this is A, B, C. Angle A is angle A is 47 degree and angle D is 133 degree. Now, in this figure, you see angle A plus angle D is equal to 47 degree plus 133 degree that gives that gives 180 degree from this what do we get from this we get that the sum of these two are the angle d and angle a are supplementary angles if we consider ad is transversal and transversal of DC and AB, then CDA angle and DAB angle are co-interior, means angle on the same side of the transversal. And we know that sum of these is 180 degree. So, this implies DC is parallel to AB. In collateral, one pair of sides, opposite sides are parallel. So, ABCD is a trapezium. So, as the in this figure, two angles form the co interior angles and are supplementary. So, two sides are parallel, as two sides, uh, two opposite sides 
of a parallel uh, of a collateral are uh, parallel so the collateral is a trapezium by the definition of trapezium so dear students today we discuss about different types of collateral like trapezium parallelogram rectangle rhombus and square and also angle sum property of collateral that is the sum of the angles of a collateral is 360 degree dear students it's time now to end thank you